Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, we did a whole bunch of work for the Fighters Guild in Anvil, and we were well rewarded. But today, we're heading out into the wilderness, because we are going on a pilgrimage. A mysterious prophet says, if I visit a way shrine of all nine divines, I might just get a vision, proving I'm a worthy knight. So, two down... And I know where our whole bunch are nearby as well. Just up the road at the Gotshot Inn, right up the hill behind it, that there was the Shrine of Zenithar. So there we go, that gets us straight up to three. And then I know my next destination, we're going back to the Shrine to Sanguine. Because I'm pretty sure if we had, yeah, north here, there was, it might have been Kinnereth. And there's also apparently an Oblivion Gate, but don't worry, we don't care about that today. So just hop over here and hit that. Beautiful. Kinnereth, just as I suspected. Now, I am pretty sure if I just keep heading... Yes, northeast, actually. Weatherly. There was one by Weatherly, and there was one near Hackdurt. One was Debella. The other one might have been Julianos, I can't actually remember for certain, but the point is, uh, two more, nice and easy. There we go, Julian was right by Weatherly, though I can't help but notice. I think the Weatherly lands have finally bloody sorted out their farm. Oh yeah, they've actually got it set up, they've actually started a- oh, oh yeah. You know what lads, uh, I feel like I've got a stake in this farm, I have the right to go harvesting all your vegetables, alright, I'll take this- as partial payment for all the good work I did for you. Oh my goodness, they've actually bothered setting everything up inside their own house too. They've got rid of all the bones, they've set everything up nicely. Admittedly, it's a very dark house, lads. You don't need to cover up, like, every window. It is a bit on the dark side, and... Wait, where are they? I don't know, they weren't on the farm. They're not here. Maybe they've just gone out for the day, I don't know. Right, that's all that done, in which case, yes. Now, I just head north. We should hit Debella outside Coral. And that's it. Two-thirds of the pilgrimage are already done. Brilliant. Right, another bloody Oblivion Gate, this time outside Coral. So I'm guessing, yes, at this point, every city has one nearby. So at some point, I'm going to have to uh, deal with that. But not today. Instead... Uh, Debella. Now the problem is I can't remember where any more are. So now we're going to need to go over to, yes, the lovely map I was given. Here we go. I'm missing Akatosh, Talos, and Stendar. So, okay. Akatosh would appear to be really nearby to Bruma. And that gate I already closed, or rather... I went into but didn't close because I came out of a different gate in the mountains and then that was the one. You know the one I mean anyway. Here we go, just around the corner. Akatosh, brilliant. So okay, that's the easy one. The last two I think could be a bit more tricky. Okay, maybe not tricky, but at the bare minimum, out of the way. So by the looksy of it, yes, as we're now going down south, towards Braville, best option is probably to, yes, go towards the Shrine of Julianos, because I've gone round the Red Road to the turn off to Chaden Hall, but I never went any further round. So if I follow that road round, cross the bridge, and then head due south, that should bring me to Talos right there. Then we just go past Braville, not getting pulled into any of that nonsense, because I haven't even looked at Bruma yet, and then we get to Stendar. Alright, follow the road, don't get distracted by any nonsense. Here we go, this is all completely unexplored territory for me, so... Based on the map, I'd say we're probably looking about here-ish, and yeah, best place to start would be right on the turn-off to Chayton Hall. Brilliant. So okay, we should be in a fairly low-level area at the moment. I can't imagine anything's going to be too scary. Well, okay... I know this game does uh, level with me. Possibly just because an area is uh, available early game, it doesn't mean it's going to be nice or anything. Like, say, you know what? Mr. Wolf, you over there. 
Oh, you're not a normal wolf, are you? You're a timber wolf, I think. So, oh, I've caught bloody hell joint. Okay, so just because, yes, this is a nice low-level area, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, though. Are you an island? Because there's got to be something... Oh, that's an island. There's got to be something suspicious and cool on an island. We're going to check out the island. Sorry, I've got immediately distracted. Okay. Can't help but notice there's no marker on the island. Which makes me even more excited because uh, there's no way in hell uh, there's nothing on the island. Like, the fact you're trying to not draw my attention to the island uh, just means uh, whatever it is, uh, is it even better. So, ooh. Hang on. Hang, hang, hang on. We've also got a shrine. Have I seen this one already? I mean, presumably not because I haven't actually been to this bit of the world. Uh, oh, that's Standar. Oh, that makes life so much easier. That means I don't need to go all the way past Bravel. I could just go to Talos. Unless, of course, I can find an even more nearby Talos. Which, I mean, you'd think there'd be a shrine to Talos in the Imperial City. Given there's a massive statue of Talos in the Imperial City. But, for some reason, no. There just sort of isn't one. Okay, can't help but notice. This island is attempting to remain... A secret to me. Like, it's pretty tricky to get up here. But, no, no, no. Using the ancient Bethesda martial arts of uh, hammering the jump button while wandering around the side of a cliff. Eventually, I'm going to get up and you're not going to be able to stop me. Actually, you know what? Maybe you are. I suspect this island's got a secret it desperately doesn't want me to find uh, by just going up the island this way. Okay. Something's going on here. The only thing nearby is a cave. Okay, right. Well, we're investigating this local area. Because I suspect there's a way to get to this island. Uh, maybe by going, yeah, like into this fort, into that cave. Uh, something like that. Okay, fort major right there. But, weirdly nearby, don't mind me, Mr. Timberwolf. Don't you flip and worry. You just die, lovely. Wellspring Cave. Why is there a cave this nearby to a fort and an island that I can't... Okay, well, something good's gonna be in one of these, though. Okay, John, before you go inside the cave, maybe just go to a shrine and pray to get rid of, you know, your disease, the hell joint thing. There we go, I feel much better. Right, as I was saying, highly suspicious cave and or fort. All right, cave is clearly magey, but is that actually Guild of Mages? I don't know whether that's just generic magic or actual Guild of Mages stuff, because those banners are outside the Guild of Mages, but... Well, there's the charter. Okay, this is... This is all suspiciously legitimate. Hang about. No enemies. Uh, mage guild signs. Okay. Have I stumbled into... Uh, yes, some form of a plot thing I'm going to be told to do by the mages guild later by any chance. Oh yeah, this is some form of mission. There's actually a door to the waterfront that needs a key. If it wasn't a mission, it would just be very hard locked or something. But okay, come back here later, I guess. All right, what about you, Fort Magia? Oh, much simpler. It's just a handful of skeletons who need to get themselves shot by me and my amazing bow of justice. Brilliant. Okay, nothing too dramatic aside from a bit of swimming and a handful of monsters, but... But, but, but... We've got... John, that was the wrong chest. The reveal was... Shadow Banish Wine. And I think that's all we need. There we go. Oh. Oh, flip me. Okay, there was no great ancient secret down here. But there was good booze, damn it. I'm at a loss for words. You actually found six. These will hold an honored place in my collection. I don't know what else to say, but thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your finder's fee. Worth every single coin, I assure you. I'll tell you what else I'll do since you seem so resourceful. 
If you find any more bottles of the wine, I'll gladly pay you well for them. Okay, so we get rid of that, and... Uh, oh, flip me, that was a grand! Okay, so... Basically, nobody pays worse than the Thieves' Guild, which feels uh, so wrong, but here we are. Ah, uh, yeah, so while we're also passing by here, let's talk all about the things that John got wrong, but really, I feel like John wasn't in the wrong to get that wrong. So, I have been collecting scales over time for this guy, and apparently, on? he doesn't want them, because he doesn't just want slaughterfish scales. Be careful out there. The Romara slaughterfish are all around this area. He wants specifically scales uh, from this lake. No other scales uh, will do, meaning all the scales I've got are completely cocking worthless. You might at this point be expecting me to, you know, cut to me getting the correct scales. But no, you know what? Screw that guy. Fussy people don't get helped by the protagonists. Instead, with my gear nice and repaired, back to Fort Magia and back onto the open roads. Though, yes, I really need something alive with a soul so that I can harvest that soul and convert it into fire damage. Alright, keep on keeping on round the coast. We got ourselves a... oh yeah, there's the giant bridge we're after. Are you by any chance a highwayman trying to block up the bridge? Because I'm gonna be honest, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. No, this is not going to be a good day for you. In fact, ooh. He's not actually threatening me right now. Oh, no. He's running. He's flipping running. You don't get to run, actually. You don't get to flipping run. Naff off, buddy. We're having that very, very nice shield. All right, we'll be helping ourselves to all of that. Be flipping beautiful. In fact, you know what? You're wearing loads of armor. And that means I should be cracking out the magic, which bypasses the armor. Oh, yeah. That's how we flip it. Do more mithril right there. I can see the shield. Just looks so much nicer, but doesn't have uh, the charm on it. So, actually, it's like half as good in real terms. But keep that. We might be able to enchant it. Come across the right sigil stone. This thing could be really, really good. So, okay. Over to this side of the water, but we have to go, yeah, unfortunately, off-road. Because it looks to me, based on the map, that, uh, yeah, the Talos thing is not going to be on the road at all. By the looks of it, yeah, the road is uh, way too far over in this direction. So, uh, once we actually cross over, we're heading into open ground to see what we can find. Well, straight away, we're running into marauders wearing rather fancy armor. So, okay, I feel like potentially we're getting into nasty stuff here. Is that dwarven, by the way? Oh, we're getting into dwarven stuff now. I mean, I could take this. This seems kind of good. Probably better than, yes, my basic blade stuff that was just handed out for free. So, okay, we're getting into... More and more elite enemies, or rather, I suppose, enemies uh, with more and more elite gear. Which is uh, functionally the same thing. So, oh. Hang about. Hang about. Forget the Shrine of Talos. I know that symbol over there. That is Daedric Prince. Okay, keep it front and centre. We're going to go find ourselves a Daedric Prince, damn it. Though, knowing my luck, he won't even want to speak to me. Not till I'm like 10 levels higher or something. Here we go, Hercene, that's the god of uh, hunters, so uh, okay. I think you gave uh, armor, or what's to ring? It was either armor or a ring in Skyrim, so... Uh, Alright buddy, what's the right to offering? Also, oh hang on, they've all got bows. There we go, now I fit in. You found this place, now you must find your way within. Okay, my way within. What do I need to offer? And uh, more powerful champion. Well, dear, oh, flipping dear. How much more powerful? Level 17, and I also need to make a pelt offering. The pelt's pretty easy to come by. Wolves are bloody everywhere. But 17, okay, we're a long, a long way from activating that one. So don't even worry about it for now. Just try and remember it's there. And hang about. 
I think we might have actually just found our way to our destination. Come on, Shrine of Talos and... Flipping Dana. I've completed the pilgrimage. My sins have been washed clean. Don't know what those sins were, but good. And now, I was promised a vision. Assuming I'm a worthy knight, which I'm going to work under the assumption I am, because I am the protagonist. Hail, knight! You seek my relics with a worthy heart. Oh, and I've been moved somewhere too. Oh, blimey, I'm way up in the sky. Your prayers have woken me from my endless dream. Or perhaps you have entered my dream, and I still sleep. I think others have sometimes spoken to me. Others like me. Perhaps the others came after you. Your need must be great for the gods to allow us to speak. As we are in the accursed bound of the back, the fence of a foul race, a thousand curses upon his unholy name. Okay, so there he flipping goes. Um, am I supposed to know where the, where the thing was? Hello? I'm not 100% sure I know where the shrine is. Okay, it's nearby, but it would appear to be underwater by the Luxi of it. Just, yeah, nearby to the bridge, but inside the river. Okay, fascinating. Okay, according to the compass, I'm currently... Just about on top of it, and also an Ilead Ruin. So, okay, I think I know what we're doing now. Go over to... Hang about, where is my buoyancy spell? Now, this thing has been good, so now I can breathe underwater. And, okay. Underwater Ilead Ruin. So, the water breathing spell's gonna be pretty bloody important, actually. And now, okay, the problem is, if I just, oh, never mind, oh, hang on, hang on, we've, we've got things, hang about, we've just got basic zombies, I can handle basic zombies, that's, that's fine. Do you guys have souls, by the way? I can't actually remember whether you guys actually have a soul or not. No, downside of the undead there, you can't just harvest them for souls, which is kind of a shame, because I am desperately in need of, you know, some soul power to keep me going. So, okay, I laid ruin, be aware, traps. It's always bloody traps, but on top of that, on this occasion, we've got the problem of water, potentially. And do not forget, Welkin Stones, good money to be made from them. Lovely. Use the map too. The map will show me, yes, uh, various hidden passageways, uh, so I know there's something to... Oh. Don't mind me, buddy. Oh, yeah. That enchantment. That enchantment has got some teeth to it. I love it. Right, so far nothing much, but... Press block. Open up secret. Oh, hello. It's one of... Oh, dear. 
think we'd seen you once before, but okay. So the headless zombies are a little bit uh, tougher. Gonna need some assistance here. Uh, Dramora, please assist with this nonsense. Okay, how tough are we hitting? You know what? Not that bad. With my armor, we're okay. We can just about handle this, but it does take me and a summon together. Okay. If a zombie doesn't have a head, that makes it significantly tougher than it would be otherwise. Which feels wrong, but we are where we are, I suppose. Alright, nothing too dramatic, just skeletons and your usual bits and pieces, but... I think we may have found what we're looking for, right over here, the Shrine of the Crusader. So, okay, straight in and... Uh, any chance it's just going to be a nice discussion with a... Never mind, it's just more cocking skeletons. Don't mind me. Okay, this looks about right. Though I'm going to be honest, this also feels a bit like a Doom Arena. So... I'm mildly concerned here. Because I blatantly do not have a charge in any of my weapons. I am massively underpowered for the time being. And I have a horrible feeling you're about to ask me to prove my worth by murdering that skeleton over there. And then like 10,000 more, so... Alright, buddy. What precisely is the deal? Because there's... Ooh! You're a person with a name. So we perished centuries ago trying to get to the Shrine of the Crusader. Might be able to find clues on his body. Like, you know what? His journal. That would do the job. Then I'm taking the ring too. And the key. And the book. So who's a member of the Knights of the Nine? Holy Order recovering the relics of the Crusader. So I've learned the location of their former headquarters. The Priory of the Nine in the West Weld. Once I've recovered the helm from the shrine. I should head there. That does seem badass. Yes. And the helm is. I'm pretty sure I can see the helm. There's like. A helmy shaped thing right up in that direction. The problem is I'm not sure whether I'm going to be uh, able to take it. That's a key. John, you've got to ki- You should not have stood up at that exact moment in time. That was a bad moment to stand up. Okay, just get behind this guy. Don't mind. Never mind, everyone knows I'm bloody here. They're just basic skeletons, it's fine. Okay, I can see the helm. We can get our way to the helm. It's fine, okay? Just excuse me. No, no, no. Stand right there, please. I'm running out of charge fast. Okay, if I take a right here, this should bring me in the right direction. Stay bloody useless. I mean, I know this isn't going to work, but... I mean, just in theory. Could I just acrobatics this? Because I kind of feel like I... Okay, never mind. I can 100% just acrobatics this. Right, screw your stupid puzzle dungeon. I'm just going to acrobatics my way to the... Well, something's attacking me. Is, is it a ghost? I don't know. I'm having the helm anyway. So there we go. I have got the first piece of the Crusader's relics. And now I should go to the Priory of the Nine to see if it still holds a... Oh my. There's more. And the next bit might be a lot easier. Okay, where was I supposed to be going, by the way? I don't know, I think there's an entire dungeon, but I've just basically said, screw it, I don't care. And brilliant! You know what? I'm just gonna acrobatics my way past all this, because I do not have the charge in my weapons to take care of this. There we go. Screw your stupid puzzle, I'm in fact amazing at acrobatics. Okay, before we go there though, seriously, my weapons need to be improved. And I've just remembered precisely where I need to go to do it. Because yes, it can be a bit hard to get hold of souls, because you can't use people, not unless you've got black soul gems, uh, and the undead just don't have souls, uh, but you know who is allowed to be harvested? That's right, load screen, goblins, because goblins aren't people. Brilliant! There you see, bit of goblin genocide later, and I'm feeling much better about the state of my weapons. Also, there's another bloody oblivion gate up there. Okay, so... Sooner or later, we're just going to have to do a bit of a sweep and deal with them. Because there are more and more popping up. And I feel like no one's dealing with them apart from me. I'm going to be honest. I made it all the way home to deposit that dwarven armor. Before I actually realized the possibility that, um, yes, the Helm of the Crusader might be 
a helm that I could wear. I was kind of just assuming it was going to be a quest item until such time as, you know, I finished the mission, then it might become a, a full suit. But no, that is um not the case. Apparently, I could put it on right now. I'm going to be honest, it, um, it doesn't suit me. And it also is kind of terrible. Like, personality is not very useful. And, uh, I mean, I guess restoration is fine, but three points feels like not much at all. And this just... Okay, I feel like people are just going to make some weird assumptions about me running around in my winged crusader helmet and my apron. A vision from the divine crusader himself is a powerful sign. You are truly blessed by the gods. Hold to your purpose, and you may yet fulfill the prophecy. Okay, this guy's finally come around. Brilliance. Okay, destination the next. We are apparently going, yeah, well off the beaten track here. Nearest city's probably going to be Skingrad. So let's start there and just head out into the middle of nowhere. And we're going to be, ah, we're going to be bordering elsewhere. So, okay, there might be some Khajiit around here. Here we go, in the shadow of the Doomkeep of Skingrad, and next to, yes, the least sneaky vampire lair of all time, we're heading out onto open road. So yeah, we're heading towards the very south of the map. Not immediately seeing much going on around here. Could be an Ilayid Ruin, potentially. Hang about. That's not just an Ilayid Ruin. I think I just saw a Doomstone. The Warrior Stone. Oh, that one's not for me. No, 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 no. I'm not a warrior. I'm maybe a bit mage, maybe a bit rogue. I am definitely not warrior. Also, bloody hell. More Oblivion Gate. Oh, this door's held shut by a powerful magical force. Oh, well, la -de da I suspect I just found another plot thing. Right, we'll be coming back to you later, perhaps. Okay, bare minimum. Get nearby enough to... Yes, the Oblivion Gate that we've got it tagged, uh, just so I remember where they all are. Because seriously, there's there's a lot of the bastards. Hopefully, just some scamps outside. Just get near enough to tag. There we go. Gate to Oblivion. Move uh, straight on out and around. Uh, looks like aside from that, this is... Uh, yeah, pretty empty bit of the world. Then again, we are close by to you cannot go that way. The classic Bethesda message. So not too surprising, really. All right, ignore the blood red sky. It's fine. We're just going to ignore the Oblivion Gate for now. Though, seriously, I could do with uh, going back in. I've got various shields, uh, bits of armor, weapons uh, that are now very good in terms of base damage. Uh, that could do with an enchantment. So, uh, all right. Nice easy walk down in this direction. Uh, we were promised a new bit of armor. Now, to be honest, yeah. The old apron, its enchantment is nice. But there is the, you know, small, small issue. That it falls apart if you breathe on it. And basically provides a minimal, if any, protection. It's like basic leather gear. So, all right. We've got... Ah, bloody... <laughs> Sorry, I just got jump scared by a troll, but that's fine because they're weak to fire and that's like all I could do. Okay, I'm liking this. We got ourselves, uh, yep, yeah, guardians with swords fighting possibly a dragon. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, old priory. I mean, it can't be that big. It's a bloody priory, but I'm guessing the armor's not here. Okay, if it was anywhere... It would be in the actual chapel up on the altar. So, be ready. Behold disappointment. And, okay, bare minimum. Got blessed by it. That's good, I suppose. All right, into the priory itself. These can have secret rooms, by the way, because, uh, yeah, uh, Joffrey's had a... Ooh. Here we go. His ring. Glad I didn't dump that, actually. So, okay, I'm guessing this was just on the map all the time. But up till now, it didn't look particularly exciting. So, okay. Maybe this thing actually will still be here. After all, if you need the secret ring... Oh, that's good. 
Oh, and it's got pictures too. la -dee -da, a book with pictures. You don't get that very often. Okay, we're taking that to sell for... We're taking that. There we go. Together with everything else going. Right, give me piece of armor number two. Oh, I tell you what, as a starting point, we have got some... Actually, you know what? That is good light armor. And that's a good light shield. Like, weight of nine and three for protection five and six. That's pretty good, actually. Yes. So, okay. Keep on keeping. Yep. Yeah, there's an undercraft. It's going to be filled with monsters. Why couldn't it just be on the altar? All right. That would have been... Ooh. Maybe not. This seems kind of cool. Right. We're going to get a divine vision or anything. We're going to... Oh! Are you guys cool with me or not? Hello? By the strength and guidance of the Nine, who comes before us upon this sacred ground seeking the curus of the Divine Crusader? Step forward, adventurer and face us each in honorable combat. For the vows we fail to revere in life, we shall uphold in death. No unworthy soul shall lay hands upon this sacred artifact without the leave of the Knights of the Nine. So, okay, you're a ghost, which presumably means... Uh, Yes, you're vulnerable to silver and elements. Okay, elements are working well so far. So one goes down. When it says Knight to the Nine, can't help but notice that with you down, him at the end, there's there's eight of you. This feels like there's one show. Then again, hang on, was the first guy the ninth? And okay, he's yielded. Oh, blimey. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, Sir Casimir. So, can we just straight up... Okay, for the time being, just whacking them with the flaming axe of death is actually working pretty well because it's just the magic damage. In which case, hang on. If it's just the magic damage, then what I should do is get the flame Atronach out and also use my own flames. All right, use a flame touch. That should be pretty effective. So, he's going to go and kneel. We've got, yeah, five more to go. I'm just going to get a demon who's going to cast flames on you. That's it. That's lovely right there. Right, get a bit of a healing going on. Restoration is... Actually, you know what? I feel like my restoration is a bit more powerful than it was. I think that's a function of the helmet. I look ridiculous. Okay, I need this armor just so I look less ridiculous. Because I look really ridiculous right now. Like, so, so damn stupid. Okay, he's seen off my person. I feel like I was onto a good thing in the first place. Just, why are you holding the weapon like that? You know what? Just swinging this thing is fine. I think they're getting tougher, though. And they are ghosts, so I can't loot them, unfortunately. Right, you know what it's time to do? It's time to crack out the 10 million potions you carry around all the time. So, let's get, uh, yes, fortify endurance, fortify health, and let's get some magicka regen going on. Okay, next up is Sir Henry, apparently. Do we know which one Sir Henry is? Okay, it's you. He's got magic too. So, okay, just let him get a bit of block up on me. Honestly, block is fine. He's taking a bit of light damage from my... Okay, I feel like my Flame Atronach is doing naff all. Taking a little bit of good damage here. This is fine. Yeah, between my various damage resistances, he just got sent flipping flying. Just uh, three more to go, then ahem. I'm concerned I'm going to run out of charge before... Hang on, what's in here, by the way? Okay, I'll just rob you while we're uh, doing all this. Yeah, I think we need to save some charge for him. Because I'm guessing he's coming up last. So, okay. Get some more stuff going on there. Then maybe get the beautiful, beautiful, yes, flame touch. That was doing something at the bare minimum. Who's up next? Hello, it's you. Right, just get some flame. You know what? That does something. That does some good work. He's trying to block. But even a ghost shield is useless against fire. So this is going pretty well. She's just tossing fireballs. Lovely. Thank you, darling. Right, okay. 
That's going pretty well so far. Keep on healing. Save everything. I need more magic. And I think I'm actually lacking in heals magic potions, to be honest. I can do like a, a one-off. So, okay. Here we go. Sir Junkin. That just feels like someone misspelled Duncan then was too embarrassed to admit it after the fact. So, okay. Let's just get you in over here. Same basic deal. All right. We're doing pretty well here. Just yet. The lovely flame damage. He's got no shield at all, actually. Just wait till we get the touch. And is he almost dead? Actually, you know what? As he hits me, there we go. Thank you very, very much indeed. I'd say go over to a bit of healing right now. It's going to be him, then probably you. Sir Torolf, that's a better name than Sir Junkin. Seriously, Sir Junkin. You're a joke of a knight. All right, here we go. Here we go. He's coming in. Let him get the block, and then, yeah, just wail on him with mine. He's got a bit of blocking by himself going on, and my health is definitely getting lower. Oh, you've got... I feel like you've got more health than some of them before, but we're just going to be able to do this. Send you flying. It's going to be you, isn't it? Right, get some healing going on. Get some healing in a hurry. Any moment now, and there we go. Perfect timing. Get you out. What have we got? Oh, yeah, you've definitely got more health, but... You've got no defense against fire. And my shield and my ring together is plenty enough. Flipping boom. Right. Give me the army, you stupid ghosty bastards. Sir Knight, in 300 years, none have stood against us and lived. Step forward and claim what is yours by right. May your faith. All right, we've got ourselves the next artifact. Ghosts, they're going to disappear or something? Not yet, they're just going to uh, hang out here. And I get... Oh, hang on. I think some of them naffed off. No, they're just fading away a little bit. They're still there. Okay. Proper flipping armor. So, apparently that's two relics, but there's plenty more. So, guys, uh, okay. I really hope it's not Sir Junkin who's got the next mission for me. Bloody hell, Sir Junkin. I wish to see you succeed where I failed. I was on the path to the boots of the Crusader, but died before I reached them. Do you wish to learn what little I know? I mean, the boots? Do we really need the boots? Okay, let's figure out who's got the best sounding things. Okay, by the sounds of it, we've got ourselves, uh, yes, gauntlets, boots, a shield, uh, and a mace. That appears to be the remaining pieces. So, okay. It's not just a, a simple outfit. There's matching accessories to go with it too. But for the time being, is it finally time to say goodbye to the apron? We have got this brand new thing right here. Oh, bloody hell. I could also sell it to fund property, potentially. But I feel like I shouldn't do that at least till this mission is over. So... I mean, I do feel like it matches the rest of my armor a lot better. I won't deny that, no. And also, uh, further restoration. Resist. When you say normal weapons, do you just mean, like, anything that's physical damage? Because uh, if so, that's pretty good. And 18 points of health is not nothing either. I mean, for me, that is way over a 10% boost to my health. That's, like, 15, 20%. So that is... Uh, not bad. And my restoration being stronger as well. Uh, that's nice. Which do we want to prioritize? You know what? Sir Junkin. I've decided you're my favorite. Despite being called. Uh, possibly because you are called uh, Sir Junkin. I love it. Tell me about the boots, buddy. I cannot tell you exactly how to find the boots. For that will be up to Kinnereth. I can tell you to seek out her priests, though. West of the Imperial City, on the edge of the Great Forest, is a shrine. You will find them there, and they will tell you what you need to know. Okay, so nature's a fury. Oh, is this going to be Spriggans? Because Spriggans were very, very nasty in Skyrim. Okay, starting from the village of Weir appears to be, yep, really nearby, right in the near side of the forest. So, 
Okay, let's go get ourselves the boots of Sir Junkin. Oh, I think I've just accidentally pushed myself to the next level because, okay, there was a wild boar and my axe was getting a bit on the low side, though honestly, that's not doing much. Okay, mysticism. Soul trap is mysticism. Need to go and uh, rest up at some point. Right, we'll do that in a second. Uh, lads, 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 lads. Um, who wants to tell me about the boots of Sir Junkin? You would seek the holy relic Kinnereth has bestowed upon the world. Then you must prove yourself worthy. Kinnereth's creations guard her relic, and you must pass the test before you may be granted the boots. Okay, a test. Kinnereth, whose uh, nature? Possibly the hunt, I'm not sure. I cannot say what it will be, for I do not know. Kinnereth herself will decide in what manner you shall be tested. All I can do is direct you to the Grove of Trials and remind you to heed Kinnereth's teachings. Fear and respect nature and all her creations. Okay, fear and respect nature. Indeed. Nature itself is Kinnereth's domain. All its creatures are her wards. You would do well to remember this when it comes time for your test. Okay. Why do I get the feeling that, yes, I'm not going to be fighting Spriggans. I'm going to be defending them. If something attacks the Spriggans, we want to be on Team Spriggan. Gotcha. Right. Point me in the right direction. Let's go do it. Okay, shrine right there. And apparently, oh yeah, it is right round the corner, so... Hang about, hang about. There is also a bear. Just avoid the bear, though. Hang on. I feel like that bear's seen me. That isn't... Don't attack the bear. Okay. Sneak into the forest. Fear and respect nature. Don't start any forest fires. Don't murder the bear. All right, we've also got ourselves. Don't pick anything. All right, I know my usual... Uh-oh. Have to wait and see what she has in store for me. Okay. We're not picking the mushroom. And... Okay. Hey, buddy. I want to be friends. I want to be friends. I want to be friends. Hello. Let's be best friends. I feel like the bear is... Okay, the bear has not got the memo. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What can we do? I could uh, soothe the bear. I need something to... Uh, I need something to not kill the bear. Uh, can we paralyze the bear? Do something to the bear in general. And... Ooh! Okay! Serene beauty! Wait, how long's that been there? Was... Was I given that by this mission? I don't know, but we're going to do it. Right! I love you. We're best friends, right? Yeah? Why is your head glowing? Why is the bear... Okay. I... I mean, to be honest, I, I made a bit of an attempt to fight back. I used, like, illusion magic, I guess. Seriously, why is your head radioactive? Okay. I think I passed the test. Kind of by accident. Like, I think I was just supposed to... Not do anything, but calming the bear counts. It was good enough. All right, into the grotto. Continue. Continue not murdering anything. Get it back out. Get it back out. Hello there. You're a spriggan, aren't you? Okay. Okay, so spriggans were less angry trees and more booby plant women back in these days, apparently. Well, they definitely know I'm here, and they're not attacking me, so... Okay, boot to the Crusader. Are we going to be attacked now? Don't pick the flowers. Alright, just get in, get the boots. Check the boots. Why do I always forget to check whether the boots are good? And... Okay, I should not be surprised by this. They're doing the same thing as everything else. Like... This is fine, but I feel like three points of restoration to go is uh, not the most exciting thing in the world. I feel like potentially 
Mithro boots with like, you know, a dedicated enchantment from Oblivion, they could be better. Like, fairly easily in fact. Okay, so by my count, that would put me at, yes, half of all the artifacts. I've got the helm, the breastplate, and the boots, but I'm missing the gauntlets, the mace, and the shield. So, okay, we don't need to do all of this in one go. Alright, I've got other commitments I need to be doing as well. In particular, I'd say it's time for a brand new city. Because the Thieves' Guild just gave me a brand new handler. Alright, I've been promoted to somebody better. I think we should make our way down to Bravel. So, okay, let's go back to the road and loop in that way. Okay, before that though, I need to have a nap. And where better than right here in the Priory of the Nine? Though I'm going to be honest, um... Who the cock are you? And why are you at the Priory of the Nine? Because I kind of thought this place was... Abandoned and owned by ghosts. We meet again. I am here to join your order, having received a divine vision from Kinnereth herself. I have been shown that to protect all Kinnereth's creations, I must take up your cause and be willing to lay down my life for you. So here I am. I have no doubt that our good works will be talked of in the eras to come. Okay, we've got ourselves a brand new... What kind of priestess of Kinnereth? Not sure how useful that's going to be, but sure, welcome aboard. It is said that the wearer has the blessing of Kinnereth upon him, and will not come to harm from creatures of the forest. Oh, hang on. This armor might have uh, extra effects that aren't on the actual uh, item page. Potentially, oh, I did notice this. I just didn't think about it. There was, um, yeah, a boar nearby, and it didn't attack me. Okay, the boots are like the ghoul mask in Fallout 3, but for animals, uh, not ghouls. Okay, now that's pretty bloody good if I find myself, say, in bear country. Now, as I was just saying, apparently we need to, um, yes, have a bit of a nap. Though, um, to be honest, I have uh, no idea what my current attribute bonuses are going to be. This level up kind of snuck up on me. You know what? That is not a disaster. Intelligence plus four, that's pretty good. Endurance plus four off the back of a lot of blocking, that's okay. Speed plus three doesn't sound great, but bear in mind speed is currently 94, caps out at 100. So five would have been kind of pointless anyway. So I kind of may as well just take that and then another speed plus three down the line will max that out. So okay, you know what? It could be a lot worse. And now, okay. From the Priory, where I decided to do my highly appropriate level up, I could just go over open ground uh, and make it back to the green road that way. So, uh, okay. Pop a marker right there because there's just a road to nowhere for some reason. We're going over in that direction. Ah, oh, you see, now this is just lovely. Right here. A series of pools uh, and waterfalls uh, and presumably... No, okay. Creatures aren't hostile to me. But that doesn't mean they're going to suddenly become my best friends or anything. So, as it turns out, deer are still going to run away from me. Also, bloody hell. Even more Oblivion Gates in the middle of nowhere. Okay, do not worry about them. Just a flipping leg to get away. We'll come back for you bastards later. Okay, I really need to dedicate a bit of time to just doing an Oblivion Gate or two. Because uh, I don't know whether it's bad uh, for, you know, the rest of the world uh, if there's too many Oblivion Gates open. But I suspect there might currently be too many Oblivion Gates open. Okay, so uh, yeah, maybe next time we'll go pick up some new Sigil Stones uh, and use them to make some better armor. And I thought you were going to be a friend, but no, you're a giant bloody... Okay, how tough are you, by the way? Pretty tough by the looks of it. Okay, hang about, hang about, hang about, and then... Oh, hang on, there's also... Okay, there's also you. Don't mind me. How good is my... Okay, my shield's holding up pretty nice. My people are trying to help out. You are surprisingly tough. At... Oh, you're really tough, actually. It's fine. Just 
hope that everything comes together. There's just demons and, and trolls and, and all the rest of it. It's all going to be fine. In fact, it's going to be better than fine. I bet you've got a really big soul, don't you? Oh, I bet you flipping do, Mr. Ogre. Common brilliant. You see, it all works out in the end. Spectacular. Now, we do appear to be going in the right direction. And uh, on top of that, okay, in symbol, dead ahead. John, maybe do some healing while you're just heading towards the end. Because uh, I feel like you're not in a great shape at the moment. Admittedly, an inn this far off the main road feels a bit on the odd side. But when it does say inn... Oh, and I was spot on as well. Down in this bit of the world, I was speculating possibly... Yes, we could be looking at uh, more Khajiit. And one of them is loudly muttering, Oh no, where could they be? So okay, I'm guessing you want something from me. Can you help me find my lost jumbo potatoes? Cancel everything! We have a new main mission! Please, you must help me find them. If I don't have them for the next batch of my famous potato bread, I don't know what I'll do. How stupid I was to leave them outside all alone like that. All I wanted to do was give them some sun. Next thing I knew, they were gone. I saw someone running off to the west, but I'm too frightened to journey into the woods alone. Please, can you help me? I'll pay you well, I swear. I do not need paying. I shall find your jumbo potatoes, madam, and I shall return them post-haste. Away! So somebody ran off with her jumbo potatoes. This will not stand. Apparently it's somewhere over in this direction. She said to the west. And... Hang on, what's that? What's that in the grass? There's something in the grass and I can't see what it is precisely, but... Was this the ogre I killed? Did I kill the jumbo potato ogre without even realising it? Okay, I mean, the ogre appears to be related uh, to the great jumbo potato heist. I guess we return the jumbo potatoes. I mean, this has been quite the epic quest, hasn't it? Madam, I have returned uh, and I have brought you six jumbo potatoes. You have them, you have them. I can sense they're with you. And here you go. They were on an ogre who may or may not have been killed by me. I'm actually not sure. Oh my goodness, you found them. Oh, I could kiss you. As promised, I owe you a reward for your efforts. I present you with my first batch of famous potato bread. More valuable than gold. Enjoy. I think we can all agree that this is the greatest mission in any Bethesda RPG of all time. And nothing ever again will come close. Okay, this is officially a potion ingredient, but let me be abundantly clear. I am never putting this in a potion. I will keep this with me for the rest of my life. And on that incredible potato bombshell, I'd say as we rejoin the green road, that is enough for now. But next time, I think I know what needs to be done. As good as this gear is, I think I can make better. All I need to do is get enough sigil stones, and uh, I am just sitting on a pile of uh, weapons and uh, armor awaiting enchantment. So, next time, we're going back into an oblivion gate or two to pick up some sigil stones. And once we're done with that, we are going down the road uh, to Bravel to pick up with the Thieves' Guild, because uh, I feel like, yeah, I'm starting to get somewhere with the guilds. They're starting to respect me, damn it, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to start getting more valuable, but potentially more dangerous missions. And that sounds pretty bloody cool indeed. Hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.